all that matters is one minute time frame versus one day time frame. What's the logic difference between these? If I use Ichimoku, uh, should Ichimoku should work just as fine for both time frames, right? Uh, no, it doesn't. It doesn't. Because one minute time frame is more spiky than daily time frame. Daily time frame, you see um, the wicks are the wicks are like this much. Well, pound CAD recently, this is very choppy. But if you only look at the candlestick and the wicks and the the size of each candlestick on the daily versus one minute, let me see, one minute candlesticks sometimes becomes very, very spiky. So um, this one minute so far looks okay, but when there's a big news or when there's a suddenly big spike, even uh, even if it's not high impact news, if it's in a mid impact or even low impact news, it creates the wicks like this, and sometimes it, can, it becomes much much bigger wick, or very huge candlestick appears suddenly, and it it takes like all the insights on on the future markets. I think you've seen these examples many times in one minute. And here too, this is unlikely unlikely to happen on the daily time frame structure. Um, so one minute is more spiky and more tricky than daily time frame. Like this one too. Um, you won't really see this structure on the daily time frame. This is only for the low time frame uh, patterns. And when it does, Ichimoku, because Ichimoku Kinko Hyo uh, respects high and low of the markets. Uh, Kijun Sen takes the high and low for the last 26 candles. And uh, hold on, let me take. So this is my Ichimoku settings. So conversion line Tenkan Sen takes high and low for the last nine candles, and it takes a mid price. And Kijun Sen, the baseline, takes the high and low for the last 26 candles, and it plots the mid price. And Senko Span B, lagging span 2, takes the last 52 candles, and it takes the mid price and shift 26 candles ahead. So that's the Senko Span B. So why I say that one minute time frame Ichimoku doesn't work is that when the big spikes happen like this, then all these lines from Senko Span B to, Sen, uh, to Kijun Sen and Tenkan Sen, all these lines take high and low. So that means everything becomes flat. Everything becomes flat. And what's more, when the market starts to take the next high or low, so let's say as the market goes, if the market starts to take the low of this one, or, or the different highs, then suddenly you see this kind of a, you know, strange shape on Kijun Sen or Tenkan Sen or Ichimoku. So like for Ichimoku, like this kind of a Kumo twist is unlikely to happen on the high time frames. Or this kind of a shape of Kijun Sen is unlikely to happen on the high time frames because of all these, you know, spikes. And when it does, Ichimoku lines get confused, and it doesn't show you the right signals to take trace. Yeah, so for me, like here, Kumo twisted, Kijun Sen up, Tenkan Sen up. So for me, this is bullish. Usually, I expect the market breaks the resistance, but it doesn't. It doesn't. And then it keeps ranging like this. So that's why I say Ichimoku doesn't work in one minute. But rather it works better in high time frames. Because in high time frames you don't see this kind of spiky or a tricky market than one minute. So I don't think I ever talk about why Ichimoku doesn't work in one minute this deeply. But uh, you can actually see many examples in one minute. Like, uh, 
like uh, yeah, the bullishness, bearishness. Um, whenever the spike happens, it tends not to work. Like at uh, this one too, there's a you know big candlestick appeared, and the whole the the future markets are included within the inside. But this is unlikely to happen on the daily chart. When the news happens, sometimes you see this like this in, in the daily chart, but uh, also the weeks are also very long as compared to the daily time frames. So I would say Ichimoku becomes more tricky. So in lower time frames, I recommend you to use some other indicators like moving averages or like I do Bollinger Bands or Stochastic and also uh, candlesticks. Candlesticks are universal on any time frames. So I do check candlestick patterns to trade on 5 minute time frames. But yeah, 1 minute can be very spiky. So I don't think it works really well with Ichimoku with this reason. So if you know about if you know the calculation of Ichimoku, then you know which time frame works in which one it doesn't. And never do time cycles in one minute either because again, whenever a spike happens, whenever swing high, swing lows happens in one minute, then you don't see patterns uh, in cycles in one minute. But you will see more often and more regular and still stable patterns in high time frames. So, that's my comment about uh, one minute. But um, yeah, I think one minute time frame is, uh, I do use one minute time frame though, whenever I take trades and whenever I see choppy market, I also look at one minute time frame and give myself extra confirmation to trade. So there's nothing wrong to use one minute time frame, but uh, it can be very tricky. So that's what I mean by one minute by Ichimoku is a bit tricky, I think. Thank you very much for watching the video until the end. If you'd like to know more about my strategy, then I recommend you to join the KTS Academy membership, which is the monthly subscription. And unlike Global Trading School, there is no monthly follow-up, so weekly meetings, regular meetings in a small group, and we don't meet face-to-face -face in discussions, but instead there are more than 60 videos for only the members, which covers not only how to select the best pair or entry or exit, but also um, risk management, which includes um, how to calculate the lot size and where exactly to put the stop loss and how to exit with the small losses and how to set break even and how to trial in two different positions and two, two different uh, stop losses. And also, I have lots of other videos about the psychology management and how I backtest my strategies one by one and also uh, my videos about my trades. And every time I enter trades, exit trades, I share screenshots with my comments on it so that uh, you can actually uh, learn based on my live trades also. And on top of that, um, there are three times of weekly membership only meetings and KTS Academy members and also GTS members will actually get together and uh, analyze charts, discuss markets three times per week, which also includes in KTS Academy membership. And there's much more to it. So if you want to know more details, then uh, please access below description and click the link HTS Academy and you can find out more details. And also now I have three communities which are Global Trading School and this HTS Academy and also Ichimoku community. So if you don't know which one to join yet, then also please click on the below description and uh, click on the link where it says take a survey it only takes two minutes and you just uh, answer 10 questions to know which one suits you the best to join so again thank you very much for watching the video and i 
Until I see you next time, please stay healthy, stay safe, stay gold. Bye for now. Mata ne. Thank you. I hope you become a non losing trader. In Ichimoku community, I share the original knowledge of Ichimoku. In KTS Academy, I share my original strategy, including risk and psychology management. In GTS, I mentor your trades and follow up one on one closely for the three months. Take a survey to find out which course suits you the best. Thank you very much for watching the video until the end. If you liked it, please press like button and please subscribe. And until I see you next time, please stay healthy, stay safe, and stay gold. Bye for now. Mata ne. Thank you very much.